while he has been to the farthest reaches of the galaxy, turned a law office upside down, even crowned Miss Congeniality. And this weekend, William Shatner is in Buffalo. Keith Radford sat down with a legend just a short time ago. Spock, are you all right? If there was ever a familiar face, it's this one a career that spans 65 years. William Shatner has appeared in more than 20 films, 30 TV shows, and numerous commercials. But it was the 1960s Star Trek TV series that made him an international star. Today, at 86, he shows no sign of slowing down. Uh, have you been well, here before? Have I been here before? I discovered Buffalo. You did? Yeah. Uh, I, I had, uh, uh, I, I said to this guy, when I first arrived many, many years ago, I've got these chickens and I've got these wings and I don't know what to do with them. There's some question of whether he discovered the chicken wing, but he's done everything else. Drama, comedy, Shakespeare, he's an author and a pitch man, and he's worked with practically every major star to ever come out of Hollywood. See all the police outside? I wish I did fulfill what you've just said, to work with the greats, and, and uh, but... Um, uh, it's been a long, long time when I uh, came out of uh, Montreal, uh, where I had been acting there, and then on to Toronto, and on to New York, and on to Hollywood. It's been a long time, and a lot of people, a lot of people are dying on me. I just, uh, it's amazing. But you're still here, Bill. They get gray hair, and then they die. They do? Yeah. He may be 86 now, but he looks 56. Could you ever have imagined, growing up in Montreal back then, going to college, that your life would end up and you would become a, an internationally known actor? No, all I wanted to do, my, my most vivid recollection, going to uh, university and, um, and wanting to be an actor, but not daring to even think that I could, was if I could make $100 a week, in those days, that was, you know, you, could, you the cars cost $3,000 and rent was probably under it. So I thought if I could make, and I, I couldn't make 100 bucks a week. They were paying $50, $60 a week to be an actor, and I had to starve. He didn't starve for long, and he's been busy ever since. Described as a working actor who showed up on time, knew his lines, worked cheap, and always answered his phone. It's there for the taking, in my case, and what a waste of a life to have not grasped the opportunity. You fail, but you can't succeed unless you fail. You had a pretty good life? I've had a blessed life. In Buffalo, Keith Radford, 7 Eyewitness News.